Hi, in uh, this video I'll show how to make a little uh, kit skein where you uh, are under the sea here and uh, it pops up some uh, creatures and you have to to tap them and then you score a point. Uh, so, so I'll try and make this. Uh, so let's get started. I go into uh, Thunderball and I created a new um, project here and I've uploaded my assets. Uh, I have uh, uh, five sea creatures and I have my uh, image, uh, background image and I have some sounds. So the th first thing I'll do is uh, to make the size uh, responsive here. <coughs> and I hide my title and my status bar and I set the screen orientation to landscape then I set the background color to uh, to blue to, to black <clears throat> and I put in a, a canvas to uh, to draw on and um, I set uh, the horizontal and uh, vertical arrangement to uh, or alignment to center and uh, the canvas uh, width and height I set to fill parent like that and I also set the background color to uh, black on this one and uh, yeah Then I put in uh, my background image, which is uh, this one. And as you can see, it gets stretched here. So I want to see it in tablet. And uh, so uh, to uh, to set up the screen, I I prefer to to do a little trick with uh, a clock. Um, so I put in a clock here, and. Uh, I've set it to one second, so uh, after one second, uh, the the um, I want the all the layout to initialize. So <clears throat> I'll just uh, do this. Uh, I just had done a test where I used the screen initialize and it doesn't uh, work. So uh, we uh, do the when the clock fires. Uh, I want to set up my uh, width uh, of my canvas. And I want to set it to uh, um, to uh, according to the height. So I find the height here. And I put in the aspect ratio of the original image, which is uh, 1024 by uh, 768. So I'll type that here. Like that. And uh, then I, I want to disable my clock. So. Uh, like this, and I set it to false. So that runs after one second and uh, uh, set up our um, canvas with. Uh, the next thing I, I want is a, a sprite to appear on the screen, so we can tap on this. So I'll just drag in an image sprite here, and uh, that I'll set to uh, uh, 72 pixels, time 72 pixels here. And I'll put in one of the images here. So here we have a jellyfish. And then I need another clock, 
and I want that to uh, show my sprites. So <clears throat> uh, go into the block editor again, and uh, then I set up some uh, global variables. So the first one is uh, sprite list. And I'll just initialize it as an empty list. And then I want a sound list. And I do the same. Control C, Control V. And then I, I need some uh, a variable to store my points in. And I set it to uh, to zero. So I want to uh, set up the canvas color to to uh, write the the image, and uh, I also want to set the font size. So I set the paint color to a uh, light blue. And I set the font size to uh, one tenth of the canvas height. Have that here. So um, I want to, when the screen initializes, I want to populate my list here. So uh, so make a a list of uh, five items. And I put in the names of my images, so they're down here, jellyfish. And um, the, the images uh, I have from the free pick, the, <coughs> the small creatures, and I made the background myself. So thanks to free picks for borrowing the the sea creatures. So I just type in the names here. So now I have my sprite lists, and then I want to populate my sound lists. So I'll do the same here. I only have three sounds. So I'll play a random sound and show a random image uh, when we want to show a new sprite. So uh, 
the clock too shows bright when that fires. I want to uh, clear the canvas so we can write a new uh, number of our points. And uh, I want to uh, make a, a procedure that I call that I call uh, move sprites. And that I'll call here. And then I'll draw my um, my points on the screen. So the text is my points. And I want to draw it in the upper left corner. So set that to 20 and 50. Well, you could make it a percentage of the screen size. So I'll just put, uh, just put fixed numbers in here. Okay, to move sprites, um, I want to use some local variables, so I'll make um, four local var variables here. And the first one I'll call uh, X, X position. And the second one I'll call Y, and then uh, I'll have to choose to find a sound index, and finally a, a sprite index. And I set them to zero. And then I'll find uh, random numbers for my x value here. So I'll pick a random integer from 0 to the width of our canvas uh, minus the width of our sprite. So uh, when we're here on the screen, uh, we have the canvas size and uh, then if we want to show uh, our image sprite, we have to subtract the width so, so we can see all of it to, to the right. And uh, the height or the y, I set the same. Uh, so I'll pick a random number from uh, the height and uh, subtract the height here, like that. <clears throat> and then uh, I want to move the, the image sprite to that position. Like that, and uh, then I set the sound index to a random integer, from 1 to the length of the sound index, so if we put in more um, items in our 
sound index will still uh, have a correct number here. So it's the length of this. And then I set the, I need a clock uh, sound component. So go in here and uh, pick a sound, drag it in here. And I set the sound source to uh, the index to the value on that position. So I grab a sound index and I grab my sound list. Like that. And then I want to play that sound. And uh, actually before I set the X and Y, I, I want to set the, the sprite. So So I'll pick a, a random integer again here. And that's the length of the sprite list. And then I want to set the image sprite picture to, to that. So I pick the sprite list and the sprite index here. So that should show a, a new uh, a new C creature on a new position each time uh, we call the move sprites, and that will do when the show uh, sprites timer uh, fires. And uh, and that's set to one second, but uh, you can change the the interval to uh, another settings. The final thing I want to do is when uh, we click the sprites, um, I want to call uh, another sound. So I go to uh, the designer here and put in a sound 2 and I set the source of that to uh, collect. So when we hit the, the sprites, I want to call that sound. And I want to increase the, the points to... Uh, let's say the value plus 5. So we get 5 points each time. And then I want to move uh, the sprites to a new position. So um, let's see uh, all the code here. And uh, let's see how it works. Okay, so here we are in uh, the Mirror app for Google Chrome, uh, and it uh, shows uh, a mirror of my uh, Android phone. And um, each time I tap a uh, sprite, I get five points, and uh, the sprites move to a new position. So uh, that's how you make a, a little fun uh, pop-up uh, game experience for uh, Thunderbolt. So. Hope you can use this. Bye.